Hello everybody, Marcos Vegas for Fight Hub TV, standing here with the defending 155 pound Bellator champion, Mr. Mike Chandler, defended your belt here tonight, Spike TV debut. You looking in there, you made it look so easy, but you had a really tough opponent in there as well. Give me your assessments on how the fight went mentally coming in and how it went, played out. You know, I, uh, I was, like, you know, we talked the other day, I was expecting a war. I was expecting a very, very, very tough opponent, and he is. I, I, think, uh, I think if me and Rick Hahn fight again, that, that, I don't think that's, that fight's as easy as, not easy. It definitely wasn't easy, but I don't think I, you know, necessarily get that finish in the, you know, pretty quick in the first round, or second round. So um, we could fight ten times, and, you know, who knows. When, when you got a guy who's a competitor like that, who's representing our country, uh, you know, my country in the, in the Olympics, man, he's, uh, he's got the heart of a champion, and, um, you know, going in there, I don't know if I made it look easy. Honestly, I don't really remember. I always said I don't remember. Uh, yeah. I did get clipped, you know, so he hit me uh, a couple times. And, you know, it was good to be on top again. It was good to hit some, hit him with some elbows, hit him with some punches. Man, I, I love that kind of stuff. It's that, it's the wrestler in me. So, I know you mentioned to me uh, on uh, Tuesday at the Open Workouts that there's nothing that recreates a feeling of you getting on top that. of someone and choking someone out. And you got that. I did, yeah, man. I, I, you know, like I said, there's, I love throwing hands. I love throwing kicks, man. I, I want to be the most complete mixed martial artist I possibly can be but there's nothing better than you know getting on top of somebody and hitting them hard with 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 punches and, and elbows and that kind of stuff and really just feeling another you know another man underneath you it just uh, wincing you know so that's that's what I want to do not all the time obviously I want to be able to throw my hands and I do have great striking coaches Eric Del Fierro, Adrian Melendrez um, down at Alliance so I'm gonna keep getting better and can't wait to see how how good I can possibly get you know when you did have them on the ground did you feel that once he was there you could keep them there and more or less if you kept them there the fight would go your way because you felt so dominant in that position yeah I, I mean I knew I knew if I stayed on top I win that, that fight 10 times out of 10 um, you know by, by you know unanimous decision um, don't necessarily want to be on top the whole fight you know I wanted to throw hands throw kicks and that kind of stuff but he was really he was really kind of backing up a little bit um, hard for me to get my get my rhythm get my get my range um, and uh, you know it was uh you know, I, like I said, I, I'm glad I was able to show a little bit more ground and pound. Mm. So, you being uh, not too active in 2012 and having this fight now, was there something inside of you even now that kind of hoped that you had made it to the fifth round to just get that ring wear in and to really, you know, put everything together? You're shaking your head, no. Man, I got <laughs> this. Is, you know, fighting is one of those things where you take the least amount of damage you possibly can, yeah. so you prolong your career. Um, you know the. Like I said, I always made the joke when I when I fought going on it was 56 seconds. That was a career move. You know, it's like prolong <laughs> prolong the career. Yeah. Don't get hit in the head a thousand times. I get hit hit in the head enough with the freaking the beasts at Alliance Training Center, man. Um, it's not fun. Yeah. And that's uh, that's where I take my beatings. So if I take my beatings there, um, I want to try and walk out of the cage as you know with as little harm as possible. So. Speaking of some fans here tonight in the stands, they mentioned that, you know, Mike Chandler, there's a big disparity difference they feel between you and the rest of the Bellator lightweight division. Do you feel that way? Hey, man, I, it, it, it's not up to me to feel that way. It's yeah. up to me to keep training. It's up to me to, you know, keep on bringing on the best challengers possible. You know, that's 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 what I live for. I, I'm, I'm, you know, God put me in the sport for a reason, and that's that's to, to go out there and put on dominant performances, make the right decisions, surround myself with the right people, and keep getting better and better and better. I mean, you only get one chance at this life. See how good you can possibly get. And, uh, you know, I try not to worry about that stuff. Whoever wins, you know, Marcin Held, Dave Jansen, one of those guys is going to step in the cage with me, hopefully in the next three months, two months, you know, whatever, and uh, it's going to be, a, you know, I don't know, who knows, a war, yeah. could be a five-rounder, could be a one-rounder, who knows, all, all I know is I'm getting as good as I possibly can be. Looking at their roster, the Bellator's uh, lightweight roster, and there's another thing that we asked fans as well, and uh, pretty surprised with what they, they told me to ask you, and was that uh, they feel that maybe there may come a, might come a point where it might hinder your growth, they feel in their opinion, because uh, the, I guess the the talent level and disparity between you and your opponents so far absolutely not man there's you know I'm not considered the best lightweight in the world mm -hmm. and that's all I have to know right now yeah. I wake up in the morning saying thank you God for another opportunity to do this thank you for choosing me to be in this sport I'm not the best lightweight in the world yet so until I am that then and even when I am that um, I'm I don't not, think you'll feel that way <laughs> I don't think I will either you know so it's one of those things where man it doesn't matter if I go in there and I knock my next guy out in two seconds um, I'm, I trained my tail off as hard as I possibly could that next day, that, that, that eight, week, eight weeks before that, and uh, made the right decisions and, and made the sacrifices to deserve to win that fight. So, um, 
just stay the course, man. Like I said, man, surround yourself with the right people, make the right decisions, be a good person, mm -hmm. and just continue to become the best you possibly can. It was a dominating performance here tonight in Irvine, here with the Bellator lightweight champion, Mr. Mike Chandler. I'm Marcos Vegas, thanking you for watching us over here at Fight Up TV. Thank you.